Hi designers, welcome back to another tutorial in Blender. This tutorial is going to teach you how to bring your Onshape model into Blender so that you can run a computational fluid dynamic simulation using my custom made wind tunnel in Blender. I'm going to show you how to bring in your 3D model car into the file, move it around, scale it up and place it in its position. And then how do we actually run the simulation and get the particles from the simulation to interact with your 3D car. So there are some tricks in this tutorial, so you need to pay a little bit closer attention when it comes to those little tricks. As always, the keys that I'm pushing are in the bottom left corner of the screen. Just take your time and follow along at your own pace. Okay, let's get started. When you open the Blender file provided in the description of this video, you will be presented with this. The first thing we need to do is delete the car. So we're just going to select the car, push X, on the keyboard and enter to delete. Now our simulation is halfway running and it's been paused. So we need to open up the animation window at the bottom here, like we discovered in a previous video. And we're just gonna roll back the animation to roughly the beginning. If you go all the way, it will you won't see it. It looks like this. So just pull the frames a little bit forward so you can see some of the particles. Now this simulation is happening out of three planes, as you can see here. As you can see, I've added some physics and particle settings to these planes to simulate airflow. So before anything, let's bring in our car. We're going to go File, Import, OBJ. So these are the cars that I exported out of Onshape, as shown in a previous video. I'm just going to choose this one. And it comes in very small. So I'm going to push S for scale and just move my mouse to scale it up. And then I'm going to rotate it so that it's facing forward into the particles that you see on the screen. So I'm going to go R90 on the X, R180 on the X, R90 on the Z. Oops, it's facing the wrong way. So R180 on the Z. I'm going to grab it with G and just drag it along the Y by pushing Y. And I'm just going to place the car right here. I have a little object here. I'm just going to delete that object as well. So here's the car, and as you can see, when it comes in from Onshape, it's all in different pieces and faces because Onshape doesn't really combine them together. So the next step we need to do is get this car into one whole object. How we do that is, first of all, let's hide these walls, these white walls you see. So I'm going to click this wall here, holding Shift, click the other three as well. I'm just going to push H on my keyboard for hide, H, so they're hidden. You can always unhide them again by coming here to the properties list finding those planes that I just hid. As you can see, all these meshes are from the car that we brought into Onshape. So we're gonna merge the car so all these meshes become one. And if you just scroll down here, you can see here are the planes I just hid. You just need to click the eyeballs to reveal them again. Okay, so the car is in multiple pieces right now. We need to combine them all together. So how we do that is a little bit of a trick um, that I've discovered. First, we're gonna choose one face of the car and we're going to apply a material to it. So here in Onshape, it's already applied a material. I'm just going to minus this one and apply a new material. I'm just going to put a random color here. Notice you can see the color because I'm in the look dev mode. And now that this face has a different color, for some reason, I, I don't know why myself, I can select the whole car, right click, and say join. And now you can see the properties. All the meshes have joined together and it's much more simpler it's just all one object so now that it's all one object let's just change the whole color of the car so i'm just going to come here to the materials i'm going to minus that and all the on shape materials and just put like a dark gray material right here please take note there's a little shine on the car because i do have light in this scene okay the last thing we need to do to prep the car so that it interacts with the particles is we just select the car and we're going to come here to object properties and we're going to say that this car is a collision surface. So you just click collision. I'm just gonna add a little bit of stickiness to the car. I'm just gonna drag this just a little bit, just so we get a little bit of stickiness and a little bit of friction, just to simulate that the particles get stuck a little bit as they're moving because the car is not perfectly 100% frictionless. Okay, so once we've done that, we are ready now to run the simulation. And if all is done correctly, you'll see that these particles, starting from red, they'll pick up speed, and they'll want to turn blue, and then they'll interact with the car surface. Let's see what that looks like, and then we'll talk about what we're seeing. So I'm going to scrub back to zero. It's called scrubbing. 
And I'm going to push spacebar on my keyboard to play the animation. This is the default key for playing animations in Blender. We're going to let that run. And as you can see, we're getting some interactions, getting some interesting results here, different colors. I'm going to let that run for the full 40 frames. But you can pause it at any time you want. Just don't try to rotate while it's running the simulation. Your computer might need a little bit of extra processing power to do that. Okay, I'm just going to pause it here by pushing space again. And now that it's paused, you can rotate around. You can zoom in with your scroll wheel. And just having a look at what you're seeing. OK, so let's talk a little bit about what are you seeing here. This wind tunnel simulation is actually pushing out air particles at 23 meters per second. The fastest moving air is marked in blue, and that is 23 meters per second. And when you see red, that is the air slowing down, or it's slow moving air, about 5 to 6 meters per second. So if you see air interacting with your car and bouncing off in different directions, and it's red color, that essentially is showing drag. It's showing the drag because it's slowing down the air. If your car has blues and greens, that's showing that the air is moving fast, relatively fast past your car. So it's very aerodynamic. So you're getting a range of motion of these particles and seeing how they slow down at 23 meters per second. Why 23 meters per second, you ask? Well, the F1 track is 23 meters, and the fastest car to date, cleared those 23 meters in about 0.9 seconds. It almost went 23 meters in one second. So I set up this wind tunnel simulation at 23 meters per second to simulate what the air would look like if the car is going at top speed down that track. Okay, so that's a little tutorial on how to import your car, place it into the wind tunnel, and run the wind tunnel simulation. You can screenshot from here and apply it into your team portfolios. Thanks for watching.